it's me, Drew, wearing a ponytail. I feel like I look like a cute girl at school today who's like a little bit alternative, but at the same time, she like has a passion for makeup and she's like with the wrong guy and everyone knows it. Like even she knows it. Even Michelle knows that he's not like the one, you know, but what's she supposed to do at this point? They have concert tickets for two months from now, you know? At a certain point, you box yourself in and it's hard to cut that cord. Hello, how are you? I was thinking the other day about how I used to walk home from school in seventh grade. It was like a 45 minute walk and I used to intentionally go down the busiest street in my hometown carrying a monster energy drink, taking sips, cause I thought it was cool. I don't know why, I don't know what that meant, I don't know what I thought that made the people driving by think of me, like, oh wow, look at that long haired child. He had a whole two dollars and he spent it wisely on that fine, fine can of syrup. I would love for my daughter to hold hands with him. Honey, you should really talk to that Monson boy. He seems like he's really making something of himself. I really just wanted to be something in middle school. I was doing all I could. I used to draw on my shirts. I don't know why I thought that was fucking cool. I used to draw Sharpie on my white shirts and just show up on Friday and be like, hey, mix and match. That's me changing it up. Someone go to the football game with me. Oh, another thing I was thinking about, Halloween parties. You're familiar, right? Great. When you are a kid, everyone gets to go to Halloween parties. When you grow up, you only get to go if you're cool. Does that make sense? Do you know what I mean? It used to be required. It was like, if an eight-year-old is having a Halloween party, all you have to do to get in is be eight. That's your only requirement. You are in, pal. A whole fucking age is invited. The whole class. I don't belong to a class anymore. My mom isn't going to resent somebody else's mom if they don't invite me into their garage to eat Reese's peanut butter cups anymore. When you grow up, you are on your own Halloween party-wise. You have to earn it. The only way in is popularity. That's it. Besides the back window. The only way in is popularity. Oh my god, I just had a super vulnerable, embarrassing thought that I'm going to share with you guys. Okay, I know, I'm aware that I'm not super popular on the internet, but I thought that at a certain point I would become a certain amount of popular on the internet and people would start inviting me to parties. Because I never did my entire life, but I honestly thought that that would just start happening. And I'm not talking just Halloween parties. I'm talking birthday. I'm talking New Year's. I'm talking it's fucking Friday and I've got a bunch of extra red cups. Come over. And honestly, at this point in my life, I think I'm just accepting that there's two different types of people. There's people who get invited to parties and there's people who don't. And that just sticks with you. I'm learning that there's no crossing over. You can't do that. The stench of you being that person in middle school and high school, it sticks with you. And the cool kids, they fucking smell it. But you can have friends. You can have all the friends you want, but you're not going to ragers. No ragers for you. And maybe it's better over here. Stick with me, please. What else? Oh, okay, another embarrassing thing. Let me tell you about this. I got a YouTube comment the other day and I've gotten a few of these before. It said, your face is getting fatter. And that kind of crushed me. Like, I'm very sensitive to that for some reason. I'm not sure why. I'm just like, oh my, am I fat? Is everyone thinking fat? This guy thinks I'm fat. Am I just a fat person now? Wow, I'm a fat person now. This is my new life. I never knew what this felt like. I'm fat. Wow, look at me. Mom, I'm fat. Mom, I'm fat. But the thing I did next really is what defines me. And I will share it with you right now, even though I am ashamed. There is a search feature on YouTube comments. When you are logged in, you can search through your comments with certain words or phrases. And I searched for the word fatter. I wanted to see if other people were saying it. And it was one of those things, like, you know when you do something, like, super nonchalant, like, without a second thought, and it takes you, like, a few minutes into it to realize, like, oh, shit, I am doing something completely fucking ridiculously insane right now, and I cannot believe it took me over five seconds to realize that. Because I realized I was seeking out people that were hurting my feelings. It hurt my feelings the first time, and I was looking for more. And in that moment, I was like, am I, do I want to be happy? Like, is that my goal? Is my goal to feel terrible about myself? Is that what I want? I just realized this video is really going to look like a cry for help. I swear to God, I'm doing fine. I just like talking. Oh, speaking of things that define who you are, I thought of a theory the other day. Okay, I think you can tell what type of person you are based on how you react when a phone call drops. During a conversation, if you're having a nice phone call and suddenly, hello, can you hear me, hello, and it stops, call dropped, when you call back or the other person calls back, how you answer, how you continue defines you. If you're the person who just keeps going and goes, all right, anyway, it sounds like the call dropped. Anyway, what I was saying about my brother, good. That's the one you want to be. If you're the person who goes, hello, who the, what the fuck was that? Who would know? Was it me or was it you? No, 
Don't be that motherfucker. I've been that motherfucker. Don't be that motherfucker fucker. What else? Oh, okay, I really like gym shorts. This is like all I wear when I'm inside and I don't leave the house that much. So I have a lot of gym shorts, but then they get sweaty. So I had to get more the other day and I went to Goodwill. Because first I went to Marshalls and they were each like $20. And I was like, what am I, a fucking beauty guru? No. So I went to Goodwill. I saw all these like gym shorts, like basketball shorts. And there was a lot of like actual PE shorts. Like they had like a high school logo on them. And I really considered because I was like, I like these kind of shorts. They're a good price. They were like $2. They had the pockets in them. But then I realized I can't. Because if they belong to a boy and he was a boy with a penis and a ball sack, I can't do that. I can't have those penis and ball sack memories that I just know that those shorts contain. Because I've been there. I had my own high school PE shorts. I had my own penis and ball sack memories. I was there for the warm-ups in PE class, the jumping jack section of the warm-ups where your fucking penis and your balls flap to flop a flop against your fucking gym shorts and the sweat from the penis and the sweat from the testicles and the hand job through those gym shorts on grad night that he might have gotten and now I would be wearing and walking around and filming vlogs with. I totally lost my voice. I don't know how that happened. I'm still gonna sing. I'm gonna sing a song for you. We'll see how it sounds. I'm sorry. I had fun though. Bye. How often do you wash your hair? Um, enough to be a fucking celebrity, apparently. Do you have a forehead? I think you're referencing my side bang, which by the way, I have retired. Official press release, I am done with it. I just